Sin is the breaking of God's law. The, the Ten Commandments is God's standard of morality, how you should live your life. And it's up to you to either obey it or disobey it. Okay. Now, it's not all the church's fault. I used to blame the church a lot. But in Proverbs 22 and verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he shall not depart from it. Now, that sounds okay, you know, but, but we are to told to train up a child in the way he should go. Now, that begins the moment the child comes out of the womb, by the way. You start teaching the child the law of God, the way that he should walk. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 6, And these words which I command you this day shall be in your heart, and you shall teach them diligently unto your children, and you shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. Now, let me ask you a question, a little test here. Mothers, what did you teach your daughters about sex? Saving sex for marriage. How to identify and find the right man how to make a man respect you, uh, and what is respect? How do you know when a man is respecting you? Uh, how do you know when a man is respecting you, and what did, 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 did you teach your daughters about lust, the difference, between, the difference between lust and love? Now, if the answer is, well, I, I didn't teach anything, well, where were you as a mother? What were you doing as a mother? What why did you exist as a mother if you weren't teaching your daughters these things? Okay? What good did your church do in helping you teach your daughters these things? Now, Father, what did you teach your sons about sex? How to respect a woman? How to identify a loose woman? How do you identify a loose woman? A loose woman can't say no. Okay, that's how you identify a loose woman. She can't say no. Okay? What did you teach your sons about saving sex for marriage? What did you teach your sons about lust, the difference, difference between lust and love? The evils of pornography. What, did you t what have you taught your son? What is the chance that your son in today's society will not come across pornography? Zero. Okay? Inter you know, phone, tablets, whatever. Zero. So what are you going to do about it? Now, what did you teach your sons about not taking advantage of women? Now, if they answer, I didn't teach you, I just figured they'd learn it on their own. Yeah, they, they will learn on their own, I guarantee you. And you will be judged for not teaching them, your children. Probably harshly by God, I mean, for not just teaching. Now, I just, I've just touched on one area, sexuality. There's other, nine other commandments we could go through. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 6, And these words which I command you this day shall be in your heart. As a parent, here's the problem. As, the, as a parent, you can't give away what you don't have. What you don't know, you don't know that you don't know it. Okay? You can't teach your children what you don't know yourself. And that's the problem, you see. This is why the church, in most cases, is no different than people in the world. It, it, this is why you have worldly churches. There are no different. Churches are full of people who lack any conviction whatsoever of sin. They don't even know what it is. And it's not necessarily the church's fault. Yes, there is a teaching out there that makes the law of God, which defines what is sin, unimportant. And that does come from church. And if you've been in church for Five hours, you've probably heard this. It goes like this. The law's been abolished. The law's been nailed to the cross. Faith plus nothing. And, you know, if you try to keep the law, that would be works. It's, you know, and so you're left with the illusion. Our children were, are left with the illusion, well, it's a, if I try to, keep, try to keep the law, that's works. And then works is wrong. And I just, I, I, I'm free to do whatever I want to do. Okay. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.